I survived 50 hours in a circle in hardcore Minecraft. That will push my Minecraft skills to the limit. And I wanted to challenge myself to see what I can build and accomplish with limited resources within this circle. This is the circle I'm trapped in. And luckily, we have a village right inside the middle. And if I ever try to leave this circle, I will uh, start taking a lot of damage. And as we keep playing more and more hours, I will instantly die if I accidentally step out. So... Let's be careful. Let's start exploring this village, though, and see what we can loot. I am pretty hungry, so uh, let, let's just steal a bunch of hay. <laughs> yep, that tastes pretty good. Some soggy, wet bread. And after searching the village, I couldn't find myself a blacksmith. The sun is setting, though, so let's quickly go to bed before any mobs spawn. And since there was no blacksmith, my only choice is this guy. All right, four iron ingots isn't too bad. And honestly, I don't see much else inside this circle that's interesting other than this village. <sighs> Ah, uh, nice. Yeah, this is going to be challenging. So I spent the rest of the first hour running around the entire circle, collecting anything that could be helpful. And the only thing I got was more food and sugarcane. Nice. I have no idea how oh, I'm supposed to collect enough materials to build something. Let's start with the basics and build myself a house. Let's collect some wood here. and eh. Bruh. And I got to make sure to replant these trees because uh, I don't have that many to work with. So these are very important for my survival. Now that I have all of this wood collected, let's start building my first ever house. Um, I was expecting it to look a lot nicer, but I really don't have anything else to work with. So as hours go on, we're definitely going to be improving and upgrading this house until it's up to cookie standard. And building this whole thing already took me a full hour. I forgot how hard it is using stone tools. So let's craft a shield and let's go caving and try to find some goodies. Let's see. A dead end. Oh, here we go. Let's see what I can find. A sheep. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. And oh, it's going deep in. Okay. There's some copper here. And nice. Okay. This one looks promising. We're mainly looking for coal and iron. So I can upgrade my tools and make some armor. Oh, there's some lapis and some more iron. But it looks like we ran into the border here. So if I cross this. Oh, my. Yeah. Let's not cross the border. Let's <laughs> just uh, stick to my mining. <laughs> what kind of timing was that? He has a better sword than I do. I don't even have a sword. And let's just say this mining run was a pretty successful. We got a bunch of iron, lapis, and coal. Let's craft some furnaces and smell all of this up. And now let's finally craft some armor and upgrade my tools. That only took me four hours to get. And I also took some time to move all of my chests inside the house and organized everything. Well, there's not much. <laughs> so I spent some time collecting more wood and cobblestone just to stack up a little bit. Now with all of these materials, let's craft some cobblestone walls. And let's actually protect this entire village. Because I'm worried about losing these villagers to zombies. They're going to be really helpful later on in the video. And now let's take some coal and craft up some torches. So I can light up the entire village and they are free from danger. And there we go. And that should keep the entire village safe from any mobs or any attackers. But next up, let's start working on... What? <gasps> wait, 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 what? There's zombies inside the... Okay, what is going on? There's zombies inside the, the village. And I'm, I'm getting mauled by this baby zombie. Run, villagers, run! I can't protect you guys. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's kill all of these zombies. It seems like there's 30. And I'm, I'm hoping they're just attacking me and not the villagers. Hey, run, 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 George! I will defend the village. Okay, I think all the villagers are safe. I don't see any more zombies in here. It seems like they're all just <laughs> having a party out here. And my axe is just about to break. Oh, no. Come on. Yep, it, it just broke. There's more zombies coming. Okay, good thing I built this wall because it separates us. Hopefully, there's no holes. And let's head home to craft myself a weapon. And the final zombie a part of the raid is somehow underground. How? What? How did you get there? Okay. I completed the raid. I, I was not expecting that in this daytime again. What just happened? Well, it turns out every five hours I survive in this circle, I get a random mob raid from zombies to skeletons, to even charged creepers to really test my Minecraft survival skills. So let's go check to see if all of my villagers are still alive. I see one. That's good news. <gasps> Two. We got a farmer. Anybody in here? Oh, <gasps> three, four, five. Okay, we're good. They survived the first raid. But I'm guessing these little cobblestone walls, uh isn't good enough. So we're gonna have to transform this village into a survival base to protect all of us from the raids. Okay, I found the exact center of the entire circle. So this is where the giant survival base will be built. And I'll collect a bunch of villagers and animals inside of here so we can all survive the apocalypse. But for now, let's focus on the basic Minecraft things like building an actual tree farm because right now I just have random saplings placed around. So let's mine all of these trees for some wood, collect the saplings. Let's also craft some more pickaxes and get some cobblestone so I can design the tree farm. 
Now let's make this whole area flat. Now let's build a frame for the tree farm out of wood. And then another frame out of cobblestone. Now let's make some grids out of dirt. That'll be where all the trees will grow. This makes no sense. I, I built this wrong. It needs to be one block that way. Of course. I always do something wrong in life. Let's quickly fix this. There we go. It all meets in the middle here. Now let's fill up the grid with some cobblestone. Okay, now... I swear it wasn't raining like a second ago, bruh. And now that we have all of these grids, we can just plant some saplings in each one of these squares. And if my math is correct, there should be 36 saplings. Let's give each sapling a friend, which is going to be a torch. That's a pretty bright friend. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? It can really shine on your life. <laughs> <laughs> now let's just make sure it doesn't grow into a really fat tree. What? Okay. <laughs> I, I thought a half tree just grew in Minecraft. Wow, this, this is really boring. Just, just holding down right click all day for hours. This is great. <laughs> and all of this should help prevent the trees from growing into some fat trees. You, you guys know what I mean. But I'm cheap, so let's save on some cobblestone. And we already have a bunch of trees grown so far, so it seems like the rain and the torch friends are working. Honestly, this whole tree farm was pretty unnecessary when I could have just done this. I, I literally could have just done this, but, but we don't talk about that. Anyways, my world inside the circle is looking pretty good. But my goal is to transform this entire circle at the end of the 50 hours. And for me to do that, I really need to upgrade these tools, because mining with iron is is so slow so with that being said let's make some more iron tools and also some food and let's go mining for some diamonds we are stuck in a pretty confined space so finding a lot of diamonds might be really hard so yeah we're gonna have to search all over these caves and nice a great start right into a dead end hey i did find some redstone oh we're finally hitting some deep slate that's good and nice i ran right into the barrier this, this is gonna be hard and while i'm mining i found a lot of lapis gold and redstone and no diamonds until Ooh. I'm liking the <gasps> Yes, yes, I found diamonds right on the edge of the border too. Oh my god. Please be a fat stack. Please. That's one, two. That's it. Oh, three. All right, I'll take three. That's enough for a pickaxe. Okay. They, they just come out of everywhere, huh? Every crack and crevice. <gasps> yes, diamonds. Oh yeah. One, two. Bruh. Just one. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Is there anything beyond the circle that I can collect? There's diamonds over there. Oh, should I risk it? I do lose hearts a lot faster now, but there's diamonds over there. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Let's quickly run for it. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Come on, I could collect one. I could collect one at least. Go, 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 go back, go back. Before I die, let me tell you guys about Dragon City. Dragon City is a free-to-play mobile game that is available on all devices. You can collect over a thousand dragons with different elements and rarities and just like the cookie army, you can even build yourself a dragon army. And just like Minecraft, you can grow food, earn gold, and find gems to grow and personalize your very own city while advancing to new levels. And to grow your dragon empire, you can breed two dragons together to create a brand new dragon species. And once your eggs hatch, you can feed your baby dragons to evolve them. And if you want your dragons to be even stronger, you can train up your dragons, teach them brand new attack moves, and bring them into battle to gain experience. And if you want to play with friends or other dragon masters, you can PvP in Masters Arenas, or even join an alliance to unlock exclusive rewards. You also find more dragons of your favorite YouTubers, like Mr. Beast, Dream, and George Not Found. So download Dragon City by clicking the link in the description, or scan the QR code and get yourself a free starter pack with 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the rare space being dragon. Please, please, please. Oh, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm good. 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 Oh, I don't know if I want to risk that again. It's, it's not worth it going outside the circle. Oh, I found a mob spawner. Don't mind if I do. Let's light this up. And a bucket. Some horse stuff. Golden apple. No, name tag though. I'll, I'll take that. Skeleton. And ooh, two golden apples. I'll take that. I haven't found diamonds in so long. Maybe the creeper will expose some. Oh, lapis. I mean, that's something. Oh my god! What are the chances of that? And there's only one. Oh my. Are you kidding me? Oh, two, two, two. Multiple. Oh, yes. 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 Y
Yes. Come on. Please be more than three. Please be more than three. Why is it only veins at three? Well, I think I searched every single cave within this circle and I only found myself 10 diamonds. So it looks like we're gonna have to come up with some new mining method later. But now I really need to make myself a food farm because I'm running out of bread and I can't live off these villagers forever. Oh, wait, never mind. I see some hay left. I'll just live off this for now. Nah, I'm just kidding. So I spent the remaining hour collecting as many seeds as I can. Since I'm lazy, I'm gonna use these villagers to help me farm because they need something to do, right? So let's combine these two farmlands already into one giant one about this size and let's fill it all up with some dirt. And we all know having water like this isn't that efficient. So let's put it like this instead. And now I can take my iron hoe and hoe up all of this ground until it looks something like this. And now let's take the seeds and just plant them all over. I can't believe we're on like the eighth hour and I just started farming. There we go. We just need some light and we got ourselves a wheat farm. And now we can take some fences and trap these farmers in so they will work for me forever. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't think of anything more evil to say. Now, now it's kind of awkward. Um, and the farm is done. Now I'm going to have unlimited food. But since we're an hour and a half away from the next raid, let's start working on a survival base. So the style I'm going for here is kind of like a watchtower outside the perimeter of the village. So whenever the raids come by, I'm ready to defend my village. And I'm going to use some trap doors as the walls for the watchtower. And if I flip them upwards like this, it will prevent me from falling off. And it's also functional if I ever want to crouch over the edge and attack the mobs now let's make the watchtower even taller and this area will be like an archery area well, let's add a little bit more decoration and i should be ready to fight this raid since we're only an hour away from the raid let's use my diamonds finally and upgrade my tools so while i waited i harvested my crops harvested my tree farm and just spoke to my villagers yeah it was a very exciting conversation i also fell asleep a few times to rest yep i'm lazy it's hour 10 now and let's run over to my watchtower i have no idea when this raid's gonna start but i have a feeling it's gonna start anytime um let's just Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, good thing I ran here. Um, what mobs are these? There's there's some underground. Hello? Oh, my God. They spawned on my watchtower. There's so many. I need to get them out of my village. So, let's make a run for it quickly. Oh, no. This isn't good. Okay, I need to put a block here so they can escape. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, this is not good at all. Okay, let's run over here and break this block. Oh, oh okay. Let's go back to my watchtower. I should be safe up here. And I'm not going to be... Oh, wait, please. Okay, I think my village is protected and safe. And now I just gotta get rid of all of these guys. I only have uh, five arrows. So I'm gonna have to come down here and smack them with my axe. We already killed seven zombie villagers. So there's only 28 left Hello? to go. <gasps> what the? What? Did you guys see that? A zombie just came down the ladder. No, this is no fun. Let's let's go down with my sword. Let's hop down and oh god, okay. I got the baby. That's the scary guy. And let's just kill all these guys on the ground. And I think that was the last one. Let's go. We completed the raid and we didn't die. I have a feeling the raids are gonna get really hard after this though. So we're gonna have to make a lot of improvements to our circle world. The first thing I need to do to improve is to get more diamonds. I really need a full set of diamond armor and i'm pretty sure the best wide level to mine for diamonds is 58 now so let's start strip mining because i already explored all of the caves let's see how many diamonds i can get within an hour okay we hit the edge of the circle and there's no luck in diamonds yet Ow. so let's go all the way back to the other end of the circle and no luck this way either oh man th this isn't going good guys yeah I'm, i might just give up here oh my god we're 50 minutes in and i finally <laughs> ran into diamonds look how broken my pickaxe is oh it's five well all of these diamonds i just got is to repair this pickaxe and we only have 10 minutes left until it's been one exact hour oh i just ran into more diamonds with only four minutes to go can i find more the race is on now okay my pickaxe is just about to break so i should probably leave the strip mine for now and call it a day let's mine straight up so i can get out of here <laughs> No, I gotta mine my way out with my fist. Oh my, this takes forever. I'm gonna be stuck down here for an hour. Bro, I'm in pain right now. I'm literally just holding down left click for like, <laughs> this is so painful. Oh my God, why'd I do this to myself? I literally could've just walked around my strip. <gasps> oh my God, I made it to a cave. Let's go, please don't be a dead. There has to be another way out. Please, please, please. This is just going in circles. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, it's looking promising. And it's a dead end, nice, okay. And after about another 30 minutes, I finally made it home. That was the most painful thing ever. My fist hurts from fisting the ground. I got myself another pickaxe and it feels good. But now let's focus on getting enchanted. The very first thing we need is a fletching table. So let's go grab some gravel. 
Yes, another flint. I'm so lucky. There we go. Who wants a job? Yeah, you do. Now we can trade for some emeralds. And we're finally advancing. Ooh, I could get a bow as well. I'm gonna need that. Bro, he upped his price to 57. What do you think this is, a game? Now I'm gonna need some bookshelves. So let's make a simple little sugarcane farm. Bam. I'm not sure why I made this so big for only nine pieces of sugarcane. Yeah. And I'm also gonna need a lot more leather. So, uh, there's only one option. Guys, these horses are running away from me, and I don't really know why. And I can't really reach them. What if I grab some apples and baited them over? Come here, buddy. Are you not- do you not like apples? Bruh. Has my childhood been a lie the whole time? Alright, I'm coming for you. You know what? I'll also take this sugarcane right here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't nervous at all. Well, there are no other signs of horses or cows anywhere along this circle to give me more leather. But don't worry, I have another plan. If I craft myself a fishing rod, I'm pretty sure one of the junk items I can get from fishing is leather. So let's try to get some. Or look at what's going on at the corner of my screen right now. There's just a parade of these pillagers going through the water. Hey, that's good news though. I can start a raid and get some totems. But I don't think I'm prepared for that yet. So uh, please leave me alone. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to think what I read online was a lie. That might be the rarest thing to get fishing. Nine pieces should be enough, though. Looks like my sugar cane has grown a little bit. So let's harvest this and plant some more. While I waited for the sugar cane, I also traded it with the villagers. I ran out of sticks, so I had to harvest my tree farm again and trade even more. And for the rest of the hour, I just afk my my sugarcane farm. Okay, we're on hour 13, and I've been waiting for 20 minutes already, and all I got was four pieces of sugar... Oh, five, sorry. So while I wait, I'm gonna try to make a little trap for the next raid. Let's craft up a bunch of more buckets and also some trap doors and now i just need some lava and since i'm here i might as well collect some obsidian for the enchantment table and let's just dig out a giant hole i think this will do now let's just uh, take this bed and go to sleep <laughs> Nah, i'm just kidding okay right here in the middle will be where i'll stand and now let's just fill in these corners with some lava i gotta get out of here and okay that's a problem i need it to spread all over so what if i do this like that and let's just make the lava flow down because i'm too lazy again another piece of lava. Here we go. And now if I line up the edges with some trap doors, the mobs in the next raid should be confused and just walk off the edge into the lava and I'm going to be a mathematical genius. So hopefully this trap works. If they're skeletons, um... Th that might be the end for me. So let's pray they're not skeletons. And we'll call this the Epic Trap 9000. Yep, solid name. All right, let's bring a creeper over to my trap. And if I jump right here in the middle, he should just walk off the edge. Oh no, come on. Don't blow it, please. Yeah! Who's the idiot? This is so gonna work. Let's finally take all of this sugar cane. Bam, bam. And all I need is one bookshelf. We turn that into a lectern. We give a homeless man a job. Who wants it? Yup, you. And now we can trade for bookshelves. Please lower your price, I beg. Well, I'm gonna need seven more bookshelves to get level 30 enchantments. So I spend the rest of the hour collecting more wood and trading up to get some bookshelves. Now that we have some bookshelves, let's craft ourselves an enchantment table and let's build... I thought I had an elytra on. <laughs> I tried to click space. Let's build it right here for now, but we're gonna build a really nice enchantment table area for this because it's super special. This will make me some big progress. Let's grab some lapis. I did it again. I thought I thought an elytra on again. <laughs> and please. Okay, fortune three. That's really good. I just really want efficiency and unbreaking. Please, please, please. Oh, there's efficiency, but no unbreaking. Well, let's craft another diamond pickaxe and bring some books with me. Because I really want efficiency. Oh, there's unbreaking on this diamond pickaxe. How about a book flame? Okay, I think I'm going to do it. And oh, not the best enchantment. But since we have some enchanted diamond pickaxes, let's go mining for some more diamonds. I, I really need to build some stairs up here, though. This is this is my bootleg staircase. But before we go mining, let's get myself some more food. We only have about 45 minutes until hour 15 comes. So this is a race to see how many diamonds I can get. Oh my god. It's like the first two minutes and I already got diamonds. I'm using fortune three. Oh my god. Yes, that was the biggest vein ever. And I already got 16. Oh my god. I managed to find way more diamonds than usual. And I ended up getting a stack in 25 of fortune three. And a bunch of other goodies. But now that it's day 15, we can use these diamonds to make some diamond armor. Yep, that, that feels really nice. And also to enchant a bow. I really need infinity. That will make my life really easy. Okay, not bad. Come on, please. One more chance. Infinity. Ah, oh, we got this though with only seven arrows. So I basically haven't advanced at all since the last five hours, <laughs> but I'm thinking I'm ready for the raid. Let's just stand around here and wait. Oh no. Okay. Here comes a raid. Oh my God. There's so many baby zombies. I don't like baby zombies. Okay. Oh my God. Thank God I made the trap. <gasps> 
Wee! Wee! Why is this skeleton have to come? Okay, let's kill this skeleton. That skeleton almost killed me into this lava and jump back here. Okay, it's working. The trap is working. Oh my god, I, I picked the best hour to build this trap. Without that trap, those baby zombies definitely would have killed me. So that was really good planning. Hey, we did it. But I'm still gonna build an epic survival base. I'll have a giant lava moat around the base. But the next thing I want to accomplish is to build a XP farm and a mob farm. Now that I have an enchantment table, I really need some XP to enchant all of my armor and my extra tools. So we're gonna need a lot of materials to build this mob farm. And luckily, I do have a lot of cobble deep slate, and I can turn that into slabs. So all I really need is more wood. So let's harvest this, and that should be enough to start. And let's go build this over at the edge of the circle somewhere, just because it's gonna look super ugly in the sky. Let's start right right here. Okay, we finally made it up and the circle looks pretty insane from up here. It makes me realize how small of an area I have to work with and all the limited resources I have compared to the endless world around me. But yeet! Oh, please don't. Okay. There's no way I missed, right? Ooh, no! Ah, I got you guys. Now for the ladders. Oh, God. And I'm going to be building the most classic mob farms. So uh, here's a quick montage. And it seems like it's already working. Not a ton of mobs, but uh, anything will get me some more XP. So let's just hope these creepers don't blow up on me. Okay, the mob farm works pretty well because I have 45 levels already. Let's use all of this to enchant my armor. And I might have gotten the worst enchantments ever in the history of Minecraft. Look at this. J just take a look at this. At least it looks shiny, I guess. Um, but since this mob farm gives me a ton of bones, so let's turn all of this into some bone meal. And now I can make unlimited food without these stupid villagers planting beetroot. Like, who wants to eat beetroot? What is this? Let's go. More bread. But now that we're getting closer to hour 20, let's start constructing the survival base right in the middle of the circle. So let's first remove this house that's in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's also remove this farmland. And now we're going to need a lot of wood for this. So, uh, yeah. Epic mining time. So we're going to have to terraform this mountain here and flatten it out. So I got myself a shovel. Let's try to get efficiency, please. Okay, nice. It's almost impossible not to get efficiency on that. And this... Okay. I was going to say, it's almost impossible not to get efficiency. <sighs> So let's start terraforming the land and flattening it out. Bro, 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 bro. Look at this. Okay, there's, there's a baby zombie with gold armor. That's not that's not that crazy, but look at his dad. <laughs> they both got gold armor. What are the chances of that? And now let's start building my survival base. So I got the basic frame of the survival base complete. I spent the rest of the hour collecting more materials. Now that we have more materials, let's do a little bit more decorating. Let's make a bunch of trap doors and line them up on this edge right here. So it prevents me from accidentally walking off. You see, I can't walk on it. And now I can. I can't walk on. Now I can. P pretty genius. Let's add some dirt and some trap doors on the sides of it. And we'll wait for the grass to grow on top of it. Then we're just going to yoink some flowers here and plant them right here. This might be the most peaceful looking survival base ever. So now let's add the best of both worlds. Let's build a little moat right below my survival base. I'll have a giant hole in it. Then I'm going to take this idea I had over here and apply it to my survival base. So let's mine out a moat around my survival base. And now that we have this dug out, I'm going to need to fill it up with lava. And I don't think this would be enough. I only have three buckets here. Well, that is the exact reason why I collected more obsidian. So I can build myself a nether portal. Finally go to the nether. I just need some flint for some flint and steel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this luck? Oh, wait. I have fortune three. <laughs> I thought I just got 15 flint with a normal shovel. Bam and bam. Let's craft myself some gold armor and let's head over to the nether. Oh my god. That, that is pretty perfect. I, I needed lava, so... <laughs> This is great. And in the nether dimension, I can actually travel as far as I want. So I can find myself some pretty good, ooh, some pretty good and valuable things. And I finally made it over here. Oh my God. That was actually my first one. So that, that was actually really lucky. And some gold iron. Wow, that, that was the most worst loot ever. Can I get lucky and get a wither skeleton head? Nope. For now, let's get out of here. Now I can take all of these lava buckets and just pour them into this moat over here. And there we go. Hopefully the entire base doesn't burn down. Now let's make a bunch of trap doors and line them up on the edges here. Mm -hmm. 
and with these extra trap doors i can make a little bridge over to my base like that and i can always close it down when the raid comes and i'll be all protected inside my survival base i then built my house inside the survival base and i have officially moved into my new house that doesn't have a roof um i i, I didn't plan this out perfectly as you can tell but uh let's not worry about the small details i'm really running low on food though i only have uh apples so let's start making a small potato farm and my final piece of bread now we're switching to potatoes and right before hour 20 hits i realized there are a lot of dogs around this circle and just one trapped in the water so i took some bones and made all of them my pet oh yeah i got an army <gasps> no no I, I had a dog. At least I have two more. No, no. Yeah, you, you, you gotta sit down. You, you gotta sit down for the rest of your life. <gasps> Bro, both of my dogs just burned. Oh my god. All right, William, you're you're staying right there in that corner and you're not moving an inch. My dogs that I own for less than 20 seconds. That, that's so sad. It's hour 20 and that means a raid is coming. So let's grab my bow and my four arrows. Good thing I have a mob farm that'll give me unlimited arrows. Yes. Now I should be good for the raid. Let's quickly run into my survival base and get in here. And, oh, here comes a raid. What are these? Oh my god, they're on the base. Oh, I didn't plan this fully through. Okay, it seems like they're all uh, zombie villagers. And how are they in my base? It seems like a lot of them burned. Oh god, there's a lot over there. Oh wait, the mountain is literally connected to my survival base. Yeah, I... My brain is pretty small. But now that I have bow and arrows, I can just kill them from up here. And there we go. That was pretty easy. I can't even imagine when the raid consists of charge creepers. So that's going to be a tough day. So even though this survival base worked out pretty well, we're going to have to continue upgrading it. The very first thing I want to do is build a villager breeder. Because I can't promise all of these guys will stay alive. So since we don't have any sheep around, we're going to need some string. Where's all the string? Oh, I don't have spiders. No, that's a problem. I was going to use the string I got from this mob grinder to make wool for beds, but uh, I stopped spiders from spawning. So let's pray that there are some sheep around here. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see two. Let's head over here and grab a piece of wheat. Let's try to attract them. Come on, please, please smell it. Use your nose, please. Okay, I'm going to run out for a quick second. Hopefully they smell it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. They smell it. Yeah. Oh, where are you going? Oh, he's coming in at least. Okay. Oh my God. We got two sheep. Let's dig. Oh, no, no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. Stay in there, please, dad. Okay. Let's actually bring them over here by the village right in this corner. And we're going to trap them with some fences. And now I can take all this wheat that I'm growing. Now I just, now I just need to replant all this. Give me a moment and breed them. Let's go. We got ourselves a sheep farm and let's spend some time collecting some wool. Now I can craft some beds and build a villager breeder. And we already have a baby. What? I looked away for two seconds and there's already a newborn jumping on the bed. All right. These guys are up to something. But while they have their fun, let's now destroy all of their houses because they're already living pretty happily inside this farm. And it seems like they don't care at all about their homes. So uh, let's say goodbye to all of this. Clearing out all these houses took me a while, and I still have three more to go. All those houses were actually pretty painful to destroy. But now this entire world looks pretty empty. But don't worry, I have a pretty good plan to transform this entire circle. First things first is clean up this entire area by removing this cobblestone wall. And now let's grab some dirt and some water. And let's start cleaning this entire place up, because uh, this terrain is so ugly and messy. And it really bothers my OCD. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And it gives me a lot of space to build a mega base. But before we do that, we really need to move these villagers because they're trapped in this ugly farm. They produce a lot of babies though because we have twice the amount of villagers. And that also means unlimited iron. Yeah, 16 ingots. So for this new village, I'm going to build these villagers. I want to build it out of stone bricks. And it just costs way too much to smelt the cobblestone into stone. So I spent some time collecting some XP to enchant for a silk touch pickaxe. Bruh, I cannot get silk touch. Silk touch does not like me. I gotta go all the way back up there. And that's a pain in the bum. <laughs> It's so hard to get so touch on a pickaxe. I literally have on an axe. Can I just mine stone with it? Oh my god. Hooray! Yes, I got so touch, but it doesn't have efficiency. Let's just craft another pickaxe and pray I get efficiency. Oh, bro, what? Okay, that works too. <laughs> that works too. I spend the rest of the time collecting stone. Yep, it, it was pretty boring. And I also need a lot of wood, and I've collected wood so many times, so uh, I should really automate this tree farm. But now I have most of the things I need, and let's start working on the frame of this brand new village. 
There we go. That looks a lot cleaner. I just need it. I'm not sure. Yep. English is cool. Okay, now, now I should be ready. This... Oh, wow. This is a pretty good start. <laughs> now let's just build up the foundation a little bit. It's not looking too bad so far, but this is just a start because on top of it, I'm going to build a giant wood structure that will be the actual village. Okay, I got the frame built up for the village house. These guys better be grateful. But now I need to fill in the roof. And I don't want to use more oak because first I'm lazy to collect it and there's already way too much wood around here. So I have an idea. Let's head over to the nether and let's find myself a crimson or a warped forest biome. Oh, I see a warped forest or a warped tree. I just need to make it all the way over there. Yep, yeah, th that's going to be painful. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck? I just ran into ancient debris. All right, I'll take it. I mean, there we go. I, I was gonna plan on mining for some, but I just found it. It just appeared into my hands. Let's go. I'm, I'm the luckiest guy alive. Okay, this war force doesn't seem that big. There's not a lot of trees to grow around here. So there's usually a crimson forest connected to a warped forest. Oh, there's the crimson. Oh, there's a bastion over there too. It doesn't look like those good ones. The ones with a lot of gold. So we'll save that for another day. Right now, let's collect a bunch of crimson wood. So I finally made it back home and let's turn all of these stems into some stairs. Hopefully this is enough. Okay, yeah, that's plenty. And now let's go through the painful process of filling in this entire roof with crimson stairs. Okay, I finished filling up the roof and I actually really like the red crimson. But I've been on hour 25 for a while now and I haven't gotten the raid yet. But let's just wait up here until it happens. Oh, 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 here it goes. Um, okay. And it looks like there's skeletons now. I never got skeletons before. Oh my god, they're up here. Oh, oh my god. I need to get down. Okay, it looks like my oh my god, my iron golems are going insane. I love it. Yes, kill them all, please. Let's go. Thank you, iron golems. <laughs> and there's only one left. Where's the last one? Oh my, look at the amount of arrows and everything on the ground. There he is. You think you can hide? Get out, get down from there, boy. Yeah. Let's go, team. Thanks for the help, even though I killed your family, like an hour ago um but it seems like they didn't remember and while we were attacked by skeletons during the biggest raid ever these villagers are just peacefully sleeping in their beds like they're not even bothered at all look at these guys All right, the top part of the village house is complete now i just need to work on this bottom part all i gotta do is add some glass down here but oh hello Okay, goodbye. I wanted to use darker stained glass, but I don't think I could get gray dye anywhere. Oh, wait. There is a lake over here. Are there any squids inside, please? <gasps> there's one. Oh, there's the whole family. All right, give me your ink sacks, baby. And I only got 10. I don't think that's going to be enough. Ooh, there's some over here. Let's try to enchant a looting three sword. Hey, I finally got looting three. And if I combine all of these swords, now that's a pretty OP sword. Now I should be getting a lot more ink sacks from killing these squids. Now I can combine them to make gray dye, which will make me gray stained glass and let's fill in the windows with some glass and now we just need to work on the door entrance and there we go the entire village house is complete i just need to decorate the inside now oh this is gonna be painful So I mainly want three levels to this house. This would be the main floor, kind of the chilling area for the villagers. The second floor will just be the farms and the top floor will be full of beds so they can make the magic happen. So now let's start working on the second layer, which will be the farm. Now that I have the second floor complete, I just need to fill it in with a lot of dirt for the farmland. And I'm going to try to hide some water in between these little cracks here. And when I fill it up like this, you won't even know that there's water hidden in between the walls. Now let's hold the ground. And the water in the walls won't reach to the middle here, so I'm going to have to make some pockets of water like this. So let's get working. And now for the third floor. There we go. And this whole area will be full of beds. So let's yoink all of these. And let's line up this entire area with beds. I spent some time fixing up the walls and the stairs. And now it's actually time to move these villagers into their new home. Let's build a fence walkway that leads into the doorway right here. Here we go. And you guys are free to enter your brand new house that is much better than mine. Look how poopy mine looks. And then look at this. <laughs> 
You, you guys are so lucky. Let's take a bunch of potatoes and let's replant all these potatoes inside the villagers' home. And why are there zombies just decked out in armor inside the house? Like, why Why do they have armor? They're full armor. This isn't even fair. So now let's wait till night. Bam. And I thought they would detect their beds all the way up there, but I guess they're kind of dumb. So, okay, I have an idea. Let's run up their mansion, steal a few beds, and let's put a bed over here so it attracts them. Oh, yep. A few of them detect it. So come on. Come on, babies. All right, here they come. And let's break. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, they escape. I got to be careful. Let's put one over here. And they should detect this one now. Just slowly creep over here. Break that. Just bait them over into their new house. It's kind of sad that I got to bait them into like a giant mansion. Oh, no. Yo, Iron Golem, help me out. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, my God. There's another one. Yo, save me. Oh, yo, that's he didn't help me. He, <laughs> he launched the zombie into the mansion. But now that most of the villagers are here, I can just trap them in there and they are stuck forever. And there's only one villager here that wasn't smart enough to make it over there. So uh, you got to defend yourself. I'm removing this farm. It's way too ugly to be here. And it seems like all of these villagers are pretty happy to be in their new home. But now I really want to upgrade my armor and tools to netherite. And I already have two pieces of ancient debris, which is really lucky, which means I need to find about 30 more pieces, upgrade everything. So let's mine down to Y level. Level 12. And no way. I already found a piece. Okay, that's a great start. Now all we gotta do is mine in a straight line for hours until we find H. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've never been this lucky before. What? Oh my god. The 70. Oh, Eric, we found two. The streak is over. The secret cookie army club is the best. Oh my god. Let's go. When I talk about the Secret Army Club, I just find Agent Debris. Yeah. Oh, finally. Found another one. Please be three. Nice. Oh, yes. Yes. Two in a row. Yes. Yes. Three. Let's go. <laughs> All right, it's been an hour and I got 19 pieces of agent debris. I feel like that was really successful, which makes a total of 21, meaning I need only 11 more pieces to turn everything into netherite. I then repaired my pickaxe and went right back to mining for agent debris. And this time it was a lot harder to find. I was not as lucky as the first hour. Okay, I finally managed to get 33 pieces of agent debris and that was very painful. But I spent the full hour 30 inside the nether and I haven't gotten the raid yet. So I'm kind of worried once I get through this portal, there's gonna be a raid waiting for me. So. I'm going to prepare and get this arrow and sword ready just in case. Let's go through. Oh, God. Okay, so far, so good. Let's make a run for my base and I made it. Oh, God, I should probably remove this thing because... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, there's skeletons. Yeah, I need to go... Oh, they're spawning everywhere. There's horses too. Yeah, I need I need to get to those iron golems. Oh, my God, there's so many. All right, let's see. We're having an arrow battle. God, I'm going to I'm gonna die soon. There's so many of them. Um, I'm not sure why there's horses with the skeletons on them. Could I ride them? I guess I can't. There's skeletons in my survival base get out yeah let's get inside here and now i do have high ground oh look at the iron golem save me please oh okay a bunch of them fell into the lava and it seems like the rest are just horses now all right well i feel kind of bad killing these horses but uh and there we go. Raid is complete. That wasn't too bad. I'm really worried for the creeper raid, though. So I really have to upgrade my survival base. So now let's smelt up all the ancient debris, and I don't even have anything to smelt with. I am poor. Well, let's go back to the basics and go caving for some coal. Now let's grab my fortune pickaxe and start mining all the coal. Well, if you guessed 302 pieces of coal, you guessed right. I have a cookie, I guess. Let's craft a smithing table. Bop. Let's craft up some ingots here. And let's finally put it on my tools. I'm not going to upgrade my armor just yet to netherite, though, because these enchantments are pretty bad. <laughs> enchantments ever what is up with depth strider i keep getting depth strider oh, depth strider depth strider what it's like the same exact enchantment hey there we go we got pretty good enchantments i'd say other than my boots i can't get feather falling but that took me a very long time but we look pretty cool now though the next thing i want to do is upgrade my survival base into something more fancy like this because this survival base is 
What the? How did a magma cube get in here? They can't just spawn on lava, right? They have to come from the nether. The portal is all the way over here. This guy went on a journey. Let's actually make him my pet. Let's take a name tag and let's call him Cube Man. I just need to get down here safe. And bam. Oh, whoa, oh, 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 whoa, chill out, Cube Man. I'll make you a new home soon. Just, just please don't die. I'll build Cube Man a special home in my new survival base. Let's build it right over here. And the block of choice for this brand new survival base will be quartz. Because it's way fancier than wood and cobblestone. So I spent an entire hour collecting quartz. It, it was very fun. So I ended up mining for about two hours and yeah, I, I got a lot of quartz. So now we just need to place down all of these quartz. Yeah, I thought that would be a lot bigger, huh? But now let's replace my pickaxe with a fortune. Where's my fortune? Oh, there we go. And let's mine it all up. Drop some guesses on how many quartz blocks this will make. And I thought I would get a lot more quartz than that. Wow. And I'm gonna need a lot more stone bricks. So I spent the rest of the hour collecting that. So now that I have all of the materials, let's work on a circle frame for this brand new survival base. Okay, I can't build this circle, man. I already messed up twice. It is not lining up. This is so frustrating. Like I, look at, oh, oh, they're creepers. Okay, this is my worst nightmare. What is, what is what is the black stuff coming up? Okay, okay, I'm hiding up here. There's no chance a creeper gets up here, right? Okay, let's get rid of all of these creepers. Good thing they can't touch me from up here. So I should be safe. Bro, I just ran out of arrows. Oh my. <gasps> no. Oh, go, 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 go. Okay, that, that actually kind of worked. Okay, all the creepers are falling into the moat. This is actually working out pretty good. They are pretty stupid. They're falling into the lava. <laughs> Only two more creepers left, and this is one. And that is the last one right here. Oh my god, that was actually really scary. And now this is messed up. What is this? The circle's lopsided. What did I do wrong here? Okay, let's break this entire frame and redo it. Okay, after about 15 minutes, I finally got the circle right. That was very painful. <laughs> now let's just build it up a few blocks and give it a floor. All right, I finished the entire foundation and I already ran out of stone. Yeah. Well, it's time to continue mining stone for the rest of my life. This this is great. I can build a staircase up to the top of the platform just like this. Let's make some railings. And this will be the grand entrance into my survival base. Now let's grab my quartz, turn some into pillars, and let's place down a bunch of quartz pillars around the stone brick. Eee, that's not looking too bad. Now let's craft up some quartz slabs and let's build a ring around the pillars. And I have a pretty good idea on what to put on the inside of this ring. I feel like some of you guys are going to be happy with this. Let's grab some iron. Let's craft some shears. And let's collect some leaves. Yeah. Let's place down some leaves on the inside of this ring. And if you're not building with leaves, you're not doing it right. So far, it's looking pretty good. But let's speed this up and let's work on the top layer of this survival base. And up here at the very top, I want to have a layer of grass. So let's jump down. Oh, look, my cube guy's still alive. Cool. Let's grab some grass and some dirt. And now let's just line this whole place up with some dirt. There we go. And now let's put down some pieces of grass around so it will slowly spread. And now at the very top of this survival base, I want to build something that looks like that home. So now let's take some wood, turn it into planks, and let's make a circle on the inside, which will be the main part of the survival base. I'm going to be honest, this, this is very ugly. I, I don't like this at all. The mix with wood and quartz is just not a good mix. Maybe I can try to make it look better by adding a border around here with some leaves on it like this. Let's try to add some windows into this base and see how it looks. I do like the look of the windows a lot more. And I can actually see out of my base and know if there are any mobs coming for me. I spend the rest of the time adding a few more details to make the place look even better. All right, I do think this looks a lot better with the stone over here, these little support things, and I even added a, a, a ring of slabs. But I want to have the same thing that I have over here, the lava moat. All right, I have the trench dug out, and now I just want to replace this wall with some stone bricks so it looks fancy. There we go. That looks a lot better, and all I gotta do now is get a bunch of trap doors to put on these edges. Let's craft some up and line up these edges. Let's yoink a bunch of lava from the ocean, or the 
the nether and now let's line her up with a bunch of lava and it's done now no mobs will ever cross into my survival base unless they spawn inside of it which will probably happen but there's one thing i want to do before we call it done we gotta move the cube man over to his new home so let's dig out a little tunnel for him that will connect the two moats together let's fill it in with some lava oh god Oh god, oh god, oh god. And hopefully, eventually, the Q man will cross this path over into his new home. And it's basically the same thing, but bigger. <laughs> oh, he's going, he's going, he's going. Oh no, he turned around. What are you doing? Are you following me? I can drag him into his new home. Let's go. Come to his new home. He's moving very, very slowly, though. And success. Success. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're so close. Come on, man. There's literally a pixel blocking him from coming in. Let's put a trap door down here and jump. Yes. Now let's actually decorate the interior of the Saravo base. It's looking pretty homey in here. Now I just need to move everything inside. Oh. Give me, give me, give me. That scared me. <laughs> and now I just need to move all of these items over there and organize it. Yeah, this is going to be painful. And finally, all of my stuff is moving into my brand new survival base. This took me so many hours to complete. And it's pretty awesome to see the stages of bases I went through. But the end is coming a little sooner than I expected. All that running got me pretty low on food, though. So let's come over here to the village and harvest their potatoes. It seems like they haven't been working very good. Uh, wait. Wait, where's all my villagers? No, 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 no. No, they all died. I didn't light this area up. Zombies must have spawned. No, there's not a single villager left. These zombies. Oh, that's so painful. Being confined in one circle is pretty hard. At least I still got potatoes. <laughs> but when I was casually harvesting my potatoes, I didn't realize it hit hour 40. And the second I left the village, the raid happened. Oh, no. It was hour 40. Oh, they're charged creepers. Okay. This is not good. Oh my god, they're everywhere. No, 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 which is great. Okay, I don't know where the last guy is, but look at my base. It is so ruined. This is crit. No! 40 hours down the drain. Well, that is the end. No! Oh, I never die in these challenges. That is depressing. Well, it hurts to say I failed the challenge. If you get 150,000 likes, I'll try it again. But that was so sad. All those hours are gone. Thanks for watching and make memories. Also, don't forget to download Dragon City by clicking the link in the description below to get your free starter pack and to become a Dragon Master.